We're here at Foxconn. I have so many questions. We're gonna go and we're gonna see what's being built here. We're gonna take a look around. Let's go check it out. Hey Dustin, how are you? Good, you must be Adam. Adam Jellin, yes. That's absolutely. Good to meet you. Okay. I'm a senior vice president with the Gilbane Building Company right here in Southeast Wisconsin. And I'm a principal with my counterpart, Alan Ware, for the Gilbane Excite Construction Management Joint Venture overseeing Area 1, Phase 1. We always take safety as our number one priority. And so I'm gonna walk you through the personal protective equipment that everybody has to wear on the job. Okay. Since we started in April of 2018, we have zero lost time incidents on the job. So we're gonna keep it safe. So if you can follow me, let's rock and roll. All right, let's do it. So we started right here last April, late April, with the mass excavation. This Whereby, is a year and a half ago? Absolutely. Okay. And we have to, to keep a steady hand and do it by design. So we started out with the five million yards uh, of earth moving and stormwater management uh, on the project to basically do the cut and fill. And you can see right behind me the, the lip of soils right now with the structurally fill and lifts on the entire site. And you can see a testing crew with that red device testing these soils to make sure that we structurally fill this site layer by layer and balance this site out. Oh that my five gosh. million yards of dirt, if you put it into a cubic foot, it would wrap all the way around the equator. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, this is gravel that's been brought in. Right, so we brought gravel in over the winter okay. to make sure that we utilize the trucking safely and efficiently on site when the site was down this winter. Yep. That will complete our building pads. So we're going to go to the top of these piles so we can look north onto the site and see the building pad area that we're going to go to and watch okay. the concrete be poured. Oh, Let's man. get an overall view of the site. Yeah, because we need a little bit of a perspective. This is just huge. I live not very far from here, down by the lake, and you see trucks and, you know, but what is it? What's going on today? So right now, what's happening is we, we're completing the master plan site development in area one. So about 750 acres where we're moving stuff around and configuring the site. Okay. And we're just getting started with the major building program for the first advanced display technology facility in the U.S.'s history. Okay. This whole area right now is area one, approximately 750 acres of where we're actually physically working here. Yeah. It's a master plan development. And then off to the right, what you can see is the Yeah, power what is this? This looks like a massive power plant or something. It's a power substation. Okay. And then across the street is the power substation here on and inside of area one. Okay. And then we bring that distribution over to our first subset of buildings. We moved dirt, created our storm water management and erosion control system. Yeah. We built the building pads or structurally filled the building pads. And then right as we came out of the winter, we started with our foundations, which will be followed by the superstructure. Okay. And at the same time, we're doing all the infrastructure such as power, sanitary, water, telecom, all of the distribution or network or infrastructure that makes this site come alive. Okay. Oh, and then right amazing. now, this is additional aggregate that will build the other building pads here on site. This is the south side of the building pad. And oh, I look, see, because you can see the foundations yeah, going along right here. Right down there. If you look all the way down to the end, you can see the cranes down there. Yeah. They're getting prepared for vertical construction as we wrap up the foundation. When will here. that start? When will vertical construction start? That's what we want to know. When will we start seeing a building? Next week. Oh, no way. There's approximately 17 football fields for, for just this building pad area. 17 football 17 fields. 17 football fields. This is massive. Okay. Well, let's check out this concrete. So it's a concrete pad with reinforcing and there's a column pad. Okay, right a big so column there, pad. There will be a, a steel column that sits on top of that board right there. I mean, this is amazing. How many how many cubic yards did you say are in this whole situation? So for the entire structural system on the building, about 65,000 cubic yards. Okay, so that's a lot of concrete trucks. Concrete, yes, absolutely. And where are they coming from? They're just driving in from supply around the area? Right in the local area. Oh absolutely. my gosh, this is amazing. Wow. What do we have going on right here? So we just wrapped up uh, the pier pad right here yep, on, this the, is on the bottom. Yep. And right now, so they've just finished off the top and then they will actually come on top of this and pour the pilaster or pier on top of this pad. Okay. And you can see they're finishing pouring the pad here to my left. And you can see concrete coming in right now. Okay. 
we completed the north side of the site for the first building program. Okay. And we're working our way out there on the southwest side of the site with the stormwater management. If you can see the distribution yep. there on the south, be the All south. All those big concrete west tubes, concrete. right? That's correct. Okay. So you can see the vastness of the site uh, that we have here. But again, we want to make sure that everything is safe and organized. We get the building pad ready. We get the foundations. We got superstructure coming right behind. So what's next is precast and steel. Are you ever tempted to write your name in one of these on wet concrete? <laughs> no construction project gets done by individuals or individual companies. It gets done by a collective team. And on this, I'm really proud to live in Southeast Wisconsin, raise my family here, yeah. and the great partnership that we have with the local community, uh, state government, and all of the different entities uh, that have helped make this job successful. Tell me about how many contractors and how do you find that sort of power to even be able to do it? So we have an awesome program that uh, we developed very early on in the project, whereby we call it Wisconsin First, but really it's an outreach, both from not only in the state, but across the country, okay. on how to get involved in a very disciplined process. We have a website, yep. and so we'll have over 100 direct subcontracts and a multiple of tier subcontracts below that. And I'm very passionate about truly make a difference here in the community with workforce and business and move Wisconsin forward. It's not only about a building project, but much more than that. I'm going to introduce you to Ben and David. They're okay, good great. friends of ours. They're doing a great job out All here. Right. Hi, I'm Dave from CD Smith Construction. Nice okay, Dave, and then Ben. All right. And you guys are overseeing all the concrete work on this building. How long have you guys been on the job out here? Two months total duration, and we're yeah. just about wrapped up here with uh, putting some foundations. This is the stuff that's all going in the ground, but underneath there's an enormous amount of work that's been done. Yes, and this is obviously the most important part of the building. This right. what holds up um, all the vertical work. Everyone we've encountered has wanted to work on this job. Yeah. Um, when, when we encounter manpower, we tell them about the opportunity. They're more than excited to get on this job. This is all a big park, a big Absolutely. industrial park, basically. Not industrial, industrial. No. advanced manufacturing, which is It's super an advanced expensive. manufacturing park. That's right, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, okay. And so is this happening in other places in the country right now, this sort of construction? This is the first. Really? It's building our future. You are standing on the future right here in Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin. It's amazing how much, how much time it takes to even get ready for the building to go up. That, that's really helpful for me to see walking around out here. How much work you guys have actually completed, it's amazing. Dustin, so to me, this is much more than just building facilities or transforming the land. But really, it's about building community, workforce, and business, which will ultimately really benefit generations to come. You thought this was exciting. <laughs> just wait for some vertical construction with some precast and steel and some building enclosure to follow. Man, thank you so much for having me out here. This is fantastic. All right, so there it is. We're here at the Wisconsin Valley Science and Technology Park, and you've seen it with your own eyes. I've seen it with my own eyes. I made a great friend here with Adam. Thank you for showing us around. Great honor. This is exciting for uh, just to follow this project as it goes on and to, to see all these local contractors working here, the business that's brought to the area. This is, this is a really fantastic opportunity, so thanks for letting me be out here. Thanks for being out here. Yep. Look forward to the next time. Okay, yeah, we'll see you then.